Greetings everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing well. Our today's video is about the introduction to A-level physics. In this video, we will be talking about how many papers we have in A-levels, what is the basic distribution of time and questions, what is the syllabus distribution, like how many chapters do we have in AS, how many do we have, do we have in A2. So we'll be talking about these things. Let's begin. Your, your actual A-levels is basically divided into five papers. These five papers are like paper one is your MCQ, paper two is your theory paper, paper three is practical skills. Yes, this time there is no ATP. You have to appear in a lab to perform the experiments. Then your paper four is again theory and paper five is planning analysis and evaluation. So to work on this, your first paper, the MCQ paper, it comprises of 40 MCQs, each MCQ carrying one mark, hence the total paper is of 40 marks with a time duration of 1 hour 15 minutes. It's considered one of the most trickiest papers of your A-levels, entire A-levels. I'm talking about AS and A2 combined. Then your paper two. This paper is of theory. Number of questions are not specified in general, but you get around six to eight questions in your theory paper. However, the total paper is of 60 marks and the time duration is one hour. 15 minutes. This paper is slightly easier than a MCQ, I would rather say, because it's easier for you to score better in your paper two than in paper one. Generally, this is what the students are found saying to everyone that paper one is difficult, paper two is easy. Then we have paper three. Paper three is your practical skills. This paper comprises of two questions question one and question two question one is, involves performing the experiment around six times plotting a graph but look, this paper would involve collecting data plotting a graph and evaluating it this means you'll be like finding out the gradients or the y-intercept from these graphs and then determining the unknown variables of the equation this is of 20 marks. The second question is of 20 marks as well. But this question is comparatively thoda simpler. Hota hai. Simpler in the sense, this question involves you in like, a, you get to perform the experiment only twice. See, But this is actually a poorly constructed question. The reason why I'm saying it's a poorly constructed experiment is because the examiner wants you to figure out the possible sources of error in this question, yeah, during this experiment, and suggest some possible improvements to those errors that you have figured out or any other improvement that you might feel should be there in the experiment to improve its accuracy. So question number two is comparatively different. It takes less time. So it's basically more focused on errors and its improvements. And you have to perform the experiment only twice to conclude whether the equation is valid or not. So when you have practical skills, you'll have this idea. So you get two hours for that, and the total paper is worth of 40 marks. Once through this, you are actually through your AS level. That is your paper one, paper two, and paper three. They make up your AS level. You're like halfway through your A levels. Whatever grade you get in your AS level is written as a small alphabet. Like if you get an A, it's a small A. If you get a B, it's a small B. You don't get an A star in AS level in general because you haven't completed the entire like sum of papers. You still have two papers left to go. So here you get like a partial grade sort of over here and it depends on the scores of paper one, two, and three. When you go into A2, your A2 comprises of paper four and paper five. But the grade that you get, the grade that you get on your at the end of your A2 is actually a composite grade. It's not just your A2, it's actually a combination of the scores in your AS as well as in your A2. Because if your scores are pretty low in your AS level, it's gets very difficult for you to score like a good in your entire A level composite. Okay, A2 is a bit tough. You have a very Broad perspective of content in your A2s. Slabers are so that it's going to go, it's going to go. So your paper 4 is again theory. 
it's worth of 100 marks and the time duration is 2 hours. Generally, your threshold is dekhenga in SK. It varies in general, but the least I've seen is like going somewhere around 57 or 55. You get an A. Due to this COVID years, to khar toh nicha gaya tha. Lekin out of 100, even if you're able to score somewhere around 60, you were given an A. These days, up general thoda sa different hai. Matlab before COVID, the grades thresholds were around like 70 or 75 ish for an A. But still, it's pretty low. This paper is actually the longest one. It's not as tricky. The content is too much, so we feel like it's yeah, difficult. Ho jata hai. Your paper 5, which is planning analysis and evaluation, it's actually a new type of paper. It's quite different. You have to design an experiment. There you get two questions over here. See, only two questions. So you get to design an experiment in one. And the other one is of evaluation and analysis. So in your first question, you will be given a theme. And based on that theme, you will explain to the examiner worth for 15 marks because the total paper is 30 marks, so 15 marks for each question. So for 15 marks, you explain in your question, okay, how are you supposed to perform an experiment? What the procedure? Kya hoga? Of course, you it in. And the other question is, the question number two is, evaluation? Ka hota hai? Achha, question number two ke andar aap se jo evaluation hoti hai, wo aise hoti hai ke you are given a raw data jo pehle se collected hota hai and you are supposed to evaluate on that. Like you are supposed to process it, photograph, find out the gradient, y-intercept and ek chori the cheez me include ki jati hai. That's called uncertainty. Now you won't know what uncertainty is right now because it's something you study in your AS level. But once you'll study it, you'll realize ke achha, hai, how would you incorporate that in this question number two of paper five. Generally, it's found to be like not that difficult, but it involves some really good motor skills. Okay, whenever you when you're planning an experiment, you need to be aware of what instrument can be used for which purpose. So Jinke practical skills achieve unkele paper five score karna bhi asana. They're interlinked. Jahatak roots ki baat hai. You can either go for just the AS level. Generally, most people don't do that because universities require your entire levels. Very few universities, I believe, would actually accept your admissions based on your AS levels. However, generally, what we go through is like a two-year composite. That is, ek sal mein AS level karte hain aur agle sal mein two level karte hain. Syllabus alag alag hai. So, isiliye paper four dobara ek theory paper bana tha apka. So, so, in one year, you give AS level, hai, paper 1, 2 and 3. In the next year, you give 2, dete hai, paper 4 and 5. And your overall result is the same. One option is which is like a um, more daredevil kind of like an option, which is accelerated physics or accelerated AS levels. Accelerated means you are going to complete all those five papers in one go. In one year, you have read five papers and you have to appear in five papers. That's not that easy. It's a bit difficult. But people do that in general. Regarding the syllabus, AS level ka syllabus kaafi hat tak aapko aisa lagega jaysay aapke O level se bhoat milta julta hai. Chapter ke names aap ab yaan pe pardhe hoge to aapko lagega ke siwaye iske aur is cheez ke jitni cheez aap ne padhi hai wo aapke O levels mein thi. Aha, bilkul aisa hota hai. Lekin A levels mein, yani AS level mein, in ki extension hai. Matlab detail achi khasi badh jai. So you have physical quantities in units, you have kinematics, dynamics, you have force density and pressure. This chapter is very, very long. So you can get a lot of things in this Work energy, power, deformation of solid in me, aapka jo stress strain ka concept is involved in this Force extension, Hooke's law, these are all the things. Superposition is actually new. You will be talking about waves interfering with one another. So what do I mean by interfering? Interfering means waves combining with one another or destroying one another on combination. So it's pretty new. And you'll be talking about a thing called it's stationary waves. Now I'm saying it's like because generally I'm waves part of the travel career. So you'll be talking about waves which are actually stationary. It's actually some really good stuff over here. And I really enjoy this this chapter particle physics. It's pretty it's pretty neat. But you talk about particles that make up other particles. Like what are protons made of? What are neutrons made of? What side of cheese have DC circuits maybe you have a bit of I should say like detail, thoda sa 
کیش آف لاز کے نام سے آپ کے پاس ایک چیز نیو آ جاتی ہے یہاں پہ پارڈن میں اسپیلنگ افیکٹ ہوں تو یہ تھوڑی سی ایک یونیک ٹیکنیک ہوتی ہے ایسے سرکٹس کو سالو کرنے کے لیے جو نہ سیریز لگتے ہیں نہ پیرل اٹس دیر سو یو ایس لیول از اراؤنڈ لائک بیس آن الیون چیپٹرس وین آئی ٹیچ آئی بریک اے فیو چیپٹرز ڈاؤن ان ٹو مور گوز اراؤنڈ لائک فورٹین سم تھنگ یور اے ٹو دیٹس یور اے ٹو وہ وہ چیزیں جو آپ اپنے او لیولز میں ایز اے ٹاپک پڑھتے تھے وہ آپ کے پاس ایز اے چیپٹر آ جائے یونیفارم سرکولر موشن یو یوزلی ٹاک اباؤٹ دس ان یور او لیولز جس میں آپ ٹاک مطلب یو جس بیسکلی ٹاک اباؤٹ آبجیکٹ موونگ ان اے سرکل یو ٹاک اباؤٹ سینٹرپٹل فورس سینٹرپٹل ایکسلریشن اب آپ کے پاس پورا چیپٹر ہے اٹس ان ڈیٹیل اٹس بٹ مور ڈیٹیل لاٹ ڈیٹیل آئی شوڈ آئی سی لیکن بہرحال یو گیٹ سم ریلی good chapters over here some really fun chapters like gravitational fields you have thermodynamics oscillations you have quantum physics medical physics astronomy and cosmology these chapters are pretty neat chapters it's fun to teach and it's also fun to learn matlab studying a2 you'll feel like ha you're studying some real solid physics so inshallah it'll be a fun experience teaching you guys take care allah hafiz